Morning everyone, it's 15th July. I haven't done a morning routine video in a while. And I think today it was quite appropriate. I woke up at seven in the morning. It wasn't easy. As you can see, I don't know if you can make out, but it's raining. So the pitter patter of rain, it just gently lulls you to sleep. And there's air conditioning and your dog is beside you. It's just an ideal scenario to just keep on sleeping. But those are also pleasures of the life, but it's gonna be raining every day. So I can't just sleep in every day. I've woken up, it's a Monday, July 15th. It's actually a friend's birthday. So I'm gonna to remember to call him right after this. Leave a text right after this and then call him later. Wish him uh, a very happy birthday. But that said, I wanted to make this video to bring you along on my morning routine. Because generally, my morning routine involves uh, going for a walk, taking my dogs along. Right now we can't because I truly don't want my dogs to get drenched and I don't think they enjoy the experience particularly as well, which I'm happy about. Because when they were kids, they would just prance around in the garden, get all kinds of wet and dirty, and it was quite a task cleaning them up. But now they seem to love uh, being dry. But that said, I'm gonna do a little visualization exercise because I think it's just ideal. It's green, it's divine, everything feels right. So we're gonna do a little visualization exercise. I'm gonna take you along on my visualization exercise. Now, please understand, this is how I do it. Somebody else, maybe Mel Robbins, she might do it differently, you might do it differently. Eventually, what I do may not work for you, but this seems to work for me quite fine. I feel utterly relaxed after this. I'm talking to myself and I'm going to bring you along on the journey and let's see how that goes. I hope it really does assist you. Okay, so for this visualization exercise, there's not going to be any structure, no rules, because it's often rules and structure that make us inconsistent and bog us down. I've got to wake up at six in the morning to visualize. Uh, the birds have to be chirping. The morning light has to be coming out. None of that. Whatever time you've woken up, uh, give yourself grace and compassion and tell yourself I ought to do this visualization exercise because it's worked for the greats of this world. Perhaps it'll work for me as well and it is a chance that you ought to take. So follow along. Let's see how it works for you. It just helps me uh, calm down and start my day and recalibrate my mind. So I'm going to run you through it, how I do it and uh, it may or may not work for you. So you could be walking, you could be in your office, you could be laying in your bed, you could be sitting outdoors like I am with the rain behind me. I don't know if you can hear it. I hope the mic is catching all of that. But that said, let's proceed right away. <sighs> I've woken up without a single pain in my body and for that I am so very grateful. The gift of waking up is often not granted to everybody and it has been granted to me. Therefore, is it not my duty to contribute harmony to the universe? And the only way I contribute harmony to the universe is I do my part. I meet my potential. I expend myself. Every creature on the planet has a job given to it. The ant, the snake and the spider. They all wake up and they get stuff done. Then why is it that I must lay in bed and seek pleasure all day, every day? I know the sheets are warm. The room is cool. It rains outdoors but I was not made to just seek and experience pleasure. I was also made to exert myself. That is an integral part of the human experience. And I am grateful that God has granted me the opportunity to do so, that God has given me the breath of life that allows me to wake up and meet my potential and to conduct myself accordingly. I have woken up in a house that provides me immense unconditional love. And this is not to be taken lightly. This is not something that money can buy. No matter how much money I am making today or how much money I make tomorrow, I must not forget that it is the basics that matter. Clean, nutritious, warm food with your loved ones. Waking up around them. Having the opportunity to meet your potential. These are things that cannot be taken lightly and I am eternally grateful for them. I know as I conduct myself today, I will meet several obstacles, as I have in the past. But for the first time, I have resolved to persevere. The obstacles aren't going anywhere. I've just got to get stronger. Because if I don't work on strengthening my mind and my body, these obstacles will soon 
feel overwhelming. And that will mean I will not be able to meet my potential and that will cause tons of pain and I am done feeling that pain. Because as long as I feel this pain deep within my mind, in the deep recesses of my mind, I cannot truly provide compassion and love to others. And once I have been shown the direction of meeting my potential, I will want to guide everybody else on the same path because that way I will be touching lives that I have never met, that I have never encountered. And that in itself will be a blessing. But the universe deemed it appropriate for me to show somebody the light and the way ahead. I know as I conduct myself today, there will be people who, is, who will say nasty things, who will say things that ought not to be said and who will hurt me. But I will treat them with grace and compassion. Because oftentimes, whatever transpires in this world, it's God's hand at play. I don't see it yet, but I will eventually feel it because I have traversed on this path. If somebody does good, if somebody does bad, it is God's hand at play. If I do good and if I do bad, it is God's hand at play. Naturally, this doesn't give me a free reign to do only bad and to commit crimes and to hurt others. Because if I have truly internalized that it is God's hand at play, that I am a child of God, then I will ensure, I will conduct myself accordingly. Because if I truly believe that all of this creation is a creation of God, that the breath that runs through me has been given by God, how can I conduct myself poorly? Because if I maim somebody, and if I hurt somebody, I hurt another creature of God. I am here to resolve, to give myself love and compassion, because each time I mess up, and I will, it's only human to do so, I will treat myself with grace and compassion. I will conduct myself in a manner that is befitting of a human, and humans aren't perfect. I will resolve to wake up at 6 a.m. and some days I will wake up at 7 and that is fine. Some days I will resolve to go to the gym 7 days a week and I will only end up going 5 and that is fine. My focus would be to auto-correct, to get back on track. And that cannot happen if I always flay myself with guilt and remorse. I know when I'm trading stocks, I will make mistakes. Sometimes I won't follow my rules. Sometimes I won't respect my stocks stops and I will take losses that are larger than usual. I will not flay myself. I will treat that as feedback from the market and I will resolve to never repeat it again. Each time I go off track, I'm going to nudge myself back on track with tons of grace, love, care and affection and compassion. That way, whenever I go off track, that's going to be massive amounts of feedback from the universe that something needs to be corrected. I am visualizing myself making impact in the lives of people. So far, when I've been going to Delhi, I've been conducting sessions for 20 people at a time. I want to take this moment, this divine morning of 15th July, to visualize myself conducting a session in front of 200 people at a time, making impact in front of 200 people. Whenever I think of a lofty goal, not only I think about the goal itself, I think about the process needed to get to that goal. I know I want to increase my follower count on Instagram. I want to increase my subscriber count on YouTube. I'm going to visualize myself having that count already. But what is the process required to get there? I'm going to be making daily videos for Instagram. I'm going to be more consistent with YouTube. Once I follow the process, the reward may eventually follow. Again, nothing follows if destiny hasn't deemed it so. Nothing follows if God's grace has not shown upon me. But that is fine because my job here was not to always expect the result. It was to focus on the process, on the journey. And that's the only thing that's in my control. And that's what I'm going to focus on. No matter where I get in life or how life knocks me down, I don't ever want to forget the basics. I am loved. I am cared for. I have an able body. I am able to meet my potential. I am somebody that wants to grow on a daily basis. And I'm very grateful for this. Each time I encounter something negative, say I got stuck in traffic, say I got drenched in the rain, say I got fired from my job, say I made a wrong turn in my life, I understand 
that that event may not be as bad as I perceive it to be. Therefore, I am going to look at every level of discomfort as an opportunity to overcome myself. I am shifting my perspective once and for all. I know my default wiring has not served me so far. I have been born indisciplined and without willpower and that is fine because that is the human experience. Some are born with great genes, some are born with not so great genes. As far as muscles are concerned, I was born with decent genes, I'd say. But as far as discipline is concerned, I was not so blessed. And that is fine because I get the opportunity to build it because the reward would be so much sweeter when I build it. And how shall I build it? I wake up every day and I do things that I don't feel like doing. And that's the only recipe I have come across to build a more steely mind. I will get into that cold shower even if it's uncomfortable. I will avoid that pizza even if I truly crave it. I will focus on rest because overworking is no badge of honor according to me. That is not how I wish to conduct my life at all. My ideal life is living in such a manner and doing certain activities every day that automatically result in the goals I desire. I desire a fit, athletic, muscular, functional body. And to meet that lofty goal, I want to live a life that allows me to meet that goal every day. I want to conduct myself in a manner, I want to develop a routine that allows me to go strength train every day. When I look at it like that, strength training is not a chore. It is an opportunity granted to me. It is a privilege that I get to move my body. Because I remember whenever I am incapacitated, whenever I am sick, say I have the flu, or when I had uh, a bout of jaundice, typhoid, all I wanted was to be able to move and get out of my bed. And now, when I am capable, I look for opportunities to avoid it. What a sort of state of affairs. With all this said, I am ready to subject myself to the divine order, to exert myself on a daily basis. And while I do all of that, I will remember to treat myself with love. Whatever's transpired in the past, I shine upon it a light of forgiveness and grace. And whatever the future holds, I know not. The present is the only thing that's in my control. And I resolve to turn up and to meet my potential, and to do things even if they're hard. If I'm not motivated, so what? I don't have to be motivated. If I do things that I don't necessarily feel like doing, that's the only way I will build discipline. And finally, I thank the universe for granting me this opportunity to traverse on this path, to focus on growth, because it is that inner voice that has nudged me in that direction, and I have been very lucky to be able to listen to that voice. So whatever voice comes within me, I will give it due audience. And I thank the universe for everything. I am grateful that right after this exercise, I go back to my books and I enjoy the day and I conduct myself in a slow manner this morning. I hug my parents. I tell them how much they mean to me. I will make it a point to kiss them on the cheek. I haven't done that in a while. And I know how amazing that felt when I would do it. Today, I would tell them I appreciate them. That if they have made certain bad decisions, it is fine for they too are human. But I focus on the intent and their intent has been nothing but my welfare. Returns of gratitude and the gift of life within me. I resolve to con conduct myself in a manner that is befitting of a proper human. Ah, wow. Okay, so ooh, I actually feel quite good about myself. Feels amazing. Honestly, this was quite a vulnerable exercise. It's not the most comfortable experience uh, to be visualizing in front of people of the world. You're going to be judged. Some people are going to laugh at you, but that's fine because some of you will actually look at this and be like, yeah, it helps me. And then the job is done. So that was my morning visualization exercise. The more you do it, the more comfortable you will get with it. Your mind will become silent. You will have lesser thoughts and lesser noise and lesser distractions. You will conduct yourself properly throughout the day because of this little visualization exercise that you've done in the morning. You could also do it before ending a day. So right, right before you go to bed, 
or in bed, you could do this exercise. It's going to be uh, magical. If you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments. Keep traversing this journey of self-growth. It's beautiful. There's no looking back. And if I can help you in any manner, let me know in the comments. I've been ending my, my mindset sessions with a visualization exercise as well, where we sit around the table. We did that in Delhi, and it was so cool. And we really just expressed gratitude. I was able to turn up for this session. I was able to pay and turn up and meet these beautiful people. That is not an opportunity that everyone can uh, take advantage of. So with that said, I hope you have a beautiful day. I'm going to keep doing this more consistently, especially my morning routines. I got on a call with Snehil yesterday and he said, bro, why, why, why have you stopped your morning routines, uh, documenting them? I would do that for the benefit of everybody. And I will see you for another one. Until then, God bless you and everybody who you hold dear and keep exerting yourself. Take care.